I begin this video, this is a part two. So, if you want to be able to understand what this tower is, since I am not sure many of you do know what this is and want to see the progress up to this point, it's best to watch that video first. But, if you don't care and just want to watch, be my guest. Let's go ahead and get right into this, shall we? Welcome back to the Sticky Tower. I am not sorry. For those of you who don't remember, we ended off with me getting softlocked on floor 8. And in this video, we're going to be going ahead and starting off right where we left off last time. It's not a good story if I just go ahead and jump around, right? So, here's the thing. The entire video that was part 1, all of those events you watch happened on the same exact day. Yeah, you heard me, right? So finally, we're now on to day 2, which is not July 8th. I played the tower so much on the 7th that I genuinely exhausted myself mentally, to the point where I just laid down and did nothing all day on the 8th. Yeah, don't be like me and do that to yourself. Well, let me not waste your time, and let's begin now, shall we? Are you f kidding me? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god. That is twice in a row that I've gotten stuck in the zigzag section and just completely lost my run because of it. Finally! Ugh! I'm back! Thank god you didn't come about 15 seconds earlier. <laughs> I saw you were deafened. Yes, because I was- I would have genuinely been jump scared. Oh, okay. Okay, so like, um, what are you grinding? Oh, uh, a tower. What tower? Um... I, I think just saying this alone will make you concerned. Okay. It, it, it's in CSCD. Uh, <laughs> is it Torah? Nope. Oh wait, no, I, I forget that CSD, CSCD has more than one area now. Yes. Okay, so what is it? Oh, uh, well, it's not in game yet. Oh, sh**. Jakundaglue, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, I, I mean, I saw you playing Jakundaglue yesterday, so I was like, okay, I guess he's going for this now. <laughs> so like, I already kind of knew. I just like, I, I, I just thought you were playing Jakundaglue for the heck of it. Nope, I'm actually grinding it. Okay, well, oh well. Which is uh, Dan John's favorite tower ever built. Did he fail it? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 he did not. Definitely I, I, not. I, I, rem I remember him saying uh, that. Oh that my god, that has never happened to me. Okay, Jakundic Louie is honestly like, um, in my opinion, has like one of the coolest tower concepts ever, and it's like, it's executed really well, it's just not a good concept. <laughs> Cool. And the design's amazing. I, I I absolutely love the design. Yeah, the I, the design is better than Toad Eye's design. I'm just gonna be honest. I Ooh. don't really like Toad Eye's design. Holy sh! I'm and just getting trolled so hard that. today. 
You deserve that. You deserve that. No! Jonah's design is a mess. No, it's pretty well polished. And, yep, not a shocker. You absolutely deserve that. No, I did not. It's the truth. Yes, you did. Todai's design is actually not good. I'm sorry. I... Bro. <laughs> Dude. The gameplay's a different story. The design? No. No. Uh-uh. No. The it's only bad. Thing, the, only, the only thing I would call cluttered is the uh, frame design. I don't like the frame design, but that's it. The frame design is the worst part. You got angry for that one slash rejoin. I just had cat just lock like, on. I just like, no, 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 you got angry. You're no, I literally rejoin. have a button that types no. slash rejoin for me on my stream deck. So if I have some watch, see? Oh, you know, it, it's just slash rejoin, slash rejoin, slash rejoin, slash rejoin, slash rejoin, slash rejoin. <laughs> Is this your favorite kata? Or? Probably. I mean, I, I can't think of a single kata that you like, except like, do you even like Todai? I like Toad I just I don't think the design is the, the good part of it. Okay, okay. Well, look what other cabs do you like? Uh, Rogue Culmination. Okay, that's a good pick. Oh, I got this mug again. <laughs> so, are you just gonna no clip up? Or? That bug's really rare. Oh. Okay. For some reason, that, that elevator likes to prop up a couple studs sometimes. Oh. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get to six again. Oh, cool. Yep, Are you deafening there, or? Huh? Are you deafening at six, or? Uh, probably. <clears throat> if you fail six, it's a GBJ. Oh, yeah. Alright, am I gonna get killed? Whoa! I don't know if you saw that, but that was truly lucky. Yeah. Like Majestic Lucky? Ah. Ah. Oh, that ah. sucks. That's yeah. never happened to me to where I missed that. <laughs> it's oh, because I didn't press W, because I wasn't thinking. Uh, but... Yeah. The o there's only... You're gonna laugh at this. There's only two towers in Pit of Misery that I have no interest in. Okay. Like feeding or anything. And that is yeah. Toxic and Tosi. Okay, good, because Toxic is, um... The, all, AKA the two towers that you've touched. Uh, yeah. Toxic... did things to me. <laughs> A, a tower has never broken me down mentally that much than that f tower. I would get into it, but it's very depressing, so no. I'm quiet because 4-4 four, four sucks. Yeah, like oh. that. Like that. Yeah, Alright, really which one is it? Okay, good. Terrifying. Okay. But yeah, no, um... Toxic is the worst tower in the entire game, and it... It, it... That's incorrect. Okay, what what do you think is the worst tower? I'm actually shocked that you don't know what I think is the worst tower in the game. I'm sorry, if it's TOGF, I, I, I have so many things to okay, say. Okay, it is not TOGF, but it is up there. Thank God. I'm gonna shut the hell up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, if you, if you, I'm, I'm sorry, if you think TOGF is worse than Toxic... Well, to be fair, I'm not right at Toxic, but I know it's ass just by the videos I've watched. Yeah, Toxic made me do s***. It's f***ing Toxic. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow! Damn. I hope we get Unreal. Ha! <laughs> okay, then what do you- well, okay, wait, what do you think is the worst tower? Uncanny Agony? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you also shifted the entire, the commu the entire community opinion out of the tower. No. There's a lot of people who like Uncanny Agony. Okay, but there's also a lot of people who hate Uncanny Agony because it, because you hate it. <laughs> no. I've that tower that. has always had a love and hate train to it. Always. Okay, but you increase the hate train a lot. Yeah, because it The first half's very boring. I actually almost fell oh. asleep when I was grinding TOUA because of 1 to 3. 
Oh, I thought you said the second half was a good or was the bad half. Well, the second half is bad difficulty wise. The first half is just bad mm -hmm. because it's boring. I mean, yeah, I don't know. No! Your... No! <laughs> yeah, frankly, I watched your two. No! <laughs> This oh is my the God. worst obby! Literally, it's harder than the Unreal one! Is that one. the Mel? Wait, what? Is that the Kata one? It is Kata! And it's harder than the Unreal one. Yes, in my opinion, because of one jump! I'm gonna be honest, when I was watching your f***ing TUA stream, so I clicked off after, like, 20 minutes, because yeah, I don't TUA you. is a boring tower to watch. <laughs> At least the first half is. Oh wow, she got it. Oh. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I told you this tower hates my ass today. It absolutely <laughs> hates my ass. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you even listen to any other music that isn't just uh, breakcore? I do sometimes. Like, I'm not somebody who, like, really listens to music, though. I am. <laughs> it really depends. Like, I only- I really use music only as a tool, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I just see like, it as the more Like, music. Index got me to 2814, which I used to call myself down when uh, I need to. Yeah, here's the thing. I, um... I always just listen to, uh, music, like... Um, I feel like the more, um, music I listen to, the more I can use at times. Yeah. Whenever I just want to listen to something in the background, or when I need to cry and let all my emotions out, but... <laughs> hey there! Didn't mean to scare you, but, uh, I really need to interject really quickly, because something really rare and really funny happened. A rare occurrence, if you will. Allow me to explain. No, not really. Oh, I just screwed up four again. Alright. Oh, hello! How are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you there! So, remember when I said that I completed every single recovery obby three times in a row? And recovery obbies are selected at random from insane to unreal, but horrific and unreal aren't actually horrific and unreal? Yeah, I may have lied. What you just saw is the nil obby. It's extremely rare. It's pretty much a 1 in 100 chance of it showing up, but this obby as well, actually nil. It's bullshit. This obby comes up so rarely and is genuinely way more difficult than the rest of the tower that trying to practice and prepare for this is such a waste of time. As you'll see, this thing pretty much never comes up. But yeah, sometimes failing on a recovery obby section will grant you this tower's version of a middle finger being the nil obby and your run is over. Quite funny, isn't it? This obby's so freaking hard that it's not even worth practicing, so... <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Nail bullshit obbies out of the way, that was the end of day two. Unfortunately, no great runs. But that's the way catastrophic towers work sometimes. I may have made cataclysmic layers seem like it was easy to progress, but bear in mind I had a personal best of 4-8 and a lot of rove culmination experience under my belt before I finished cataclysmic layers. The only experience I had from this was from over a year ago when Alien Radius was my hardest, which is basically nothing. So this is an actual grind, if you will. But, here's the thing about recovery obbies. I lied to you twice. Remember how I said there's three lives? Well, there's not. You may have seen me jump down here instead of doing the few jumps to the elevator to floor three, and that's on purpose. This grants you a key, which on floor five you can open a special troll elevator. This sends you to a button, which then gives you a bonus light. The way the bonus life works is once you lose all three lives, you get sent to the game over room. But the exit door is open, in which you're taken to a cathedral with a happy birthday tune in the background. I'm not f***ing joking, it's literally happy birthday cathedral. Sadly it's copyrighted so I can't show you. The good news is, when you use the bonus life, you don't have to do a recovery obby. You just get sent back to the floor you fell from.
but that is your last life. If you fall again, you are toast. The thing is, you actually have to remember to get the dang thing. It's, it's not like I'll forget to ever forget to go in the troll elevator and grab my bonus life or something, right? Wow, I actually passed it. Cool. Nope! Fifth time is not the charm! Oh my god! Freaking finally! Jesus Christ! <sighs> I don't even care anymore! Got to six. That should have not been that freaking hard. can take it. Wow. I hit the corner of that. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. Getting to seven is like really freaking good. Nice! Okay! I actually passed the Kata Hobby. What the hell? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that is such a funny way to f up! <laughs> oh my god! Good job, Pass Logan. You're a massive idiot. It's not like I'm gonna get punished by the tower or anything for this really stupid mistake, right? Uh, what? That was perfect. Yeah, turns out I will, so make sure to take the troll elevator on floor 5 to grab your bonus life or you'll regret it. I still go in that box now. Go to the troll <laughs> face box now. I won't replicate what happened earlier, it's okay. 
<laughs> I have learned my lesson the hard way. Now you will immediately waste one of your lives. Yup, yup, that's exactly what will happen. <laughs> and you got unreal. So, run's over, so how are you doing today? <clears throat> oh. Let's not call it quits just yet. Yeah, but the end of Unreal's garbage. AKA these two jumps. Dude. <laughs> you just did Unreal. Yeah, it's like my third time. Oh, wow. Okay, if it was Unreal again, I would have laughed. Congratulations. Imagine that, just midway through a play, he just goes to the lobby. <laughs> hey, now come on, you only have two lives left and you haven't even made it past the first quarter of this floor. This floor is just... It's just been naughty, thing. It's just been very naughty. This is the floor I'm usually the most consistent at, but today it's just doing everything it can to f*** me over. Unreal. The chances of this are quite unreal. <laughs> you okay? Dude, you're f***ing cracked. If that doesn't prove that Unreal is not consistent, that made no f***ing sense. <laughs> yeah, how does that prove anything? Well, I was trying to say, if, is that, if that doesn't prove that Unreal isn't that bad, then I don't know what would. And that why is 4 or 5 so freaking inconsistent today? I'm actually annoyed. I don't think there ever was a horrific version of this tower. You're right. It used to be extreme. It may not be extreme, but it's extremely good. I literally wasn't even trying to make a fun. I was trying to say the truth. How... How did, how did you not intend to make a fun? <laughs> you literally put emphasis on extreme. <laughs> also six. Bam. Wait, so you only have your extra life right now, right? Yup. Damn. My child, I grant you salvation. Do that's, not waste it. If I get to seven, that's gonna happen. Never mind. But yes, it did now, lose a life, which doesn't matter because um, I'm more likely than not gonna pass six. Uh, I'm sure you will. Are you sure about that? Well, I'm not, but I'm sure you will at the same time. <laughs> at least you're honest. Vamos! What was that? Me joining your place. Hi, Floor 7, how are you? Alright, let's see how far I get on 7 this time. Is this like a GBJ GBJ or will you just lose a life? Lose a life. Ah. Uh, like that. Kata. Great. Great. Is well, this the heart? Is this harder than horrific and unreal? In my opinion, yeah. Oh. All oh, right, it has the, for some reason, hard for you jump in it. This one. And this one too. Oh. Nice. Good, good work, bro. Oh, uh, this is that 
quote-unquote horrific jump that I did twice in a row. Yes, yeah, so I found a strategy for it now, and it still Ooh. sucks. Thank you, Zoe. You progress really fast, and then you stay stagnant for a while. I've noticed that. Well, with this tower, the first floors are also easier. Mm. By a long shot, by the way. Ooh. There's a reason why you see me get to five quite often. <laughs> also, if I fall here, I go back to six now, so. Ooh. Yeah, that in my is opinion it? is worse than the recovery obby, because if you fail six, you're just GB did. So, the recovery obby, but longer. Yeah, and worse. That, that is jump. Terrible. That jump is always so freaking sketchy. I hate it. Ooh, that is terrifying. That jump and the last jump are always like extremely scary to do. How close are you to the last jump? Pretty close. That's not scary at all. Oh, that's scary. Oh, oh this, I hate that. This is consistent though. I know, but f that's scary. It honestly doesn't scare me at all. Do you have to do this backwards? You don't have to, but it makes it way easier. If you go forward, what will happen is you can go in between the gap. Oh. If you go backwards, you'll just get a climbing animation. You can go like that. Oh. Uh... That's why you do this backwards. <laughs> See? I hate this jump. It does not. With your strategy, it doesn't really seem failable. It's just it's annoying it's just, and scary. It's scary, yeah. And also, you're going on a cylinder, which means tapping the keys. All you need is just one unlucky momentum boost. Yeah. Which has not happened to me, but it's just like, oh, I don't want that to. There we go, floor eight. You actually just made it to eight. Yep. I doubt I'll get further than last time, but I'm I a, an eight runs an eight run. I'm not complaining. Problem is I can't do fitness. I'm extremely oh, obese, yeah. as you would know. So. Spitting this whole wiener in your mouth. You got me pretty good there. Not gonna lie. I love the atmosphere of this floor. Eight and nine is so pretty. The chances, like I said, of me going are, like, really low. So, well. Is this is this a GBJ or recovery obby? It's recovery. But this okay. section is really loop failable. Ooh. This is one of those parts where once you start failing once, you're just going to keep failing it over and over again. Christ. Alright, this is the worst jump. Ooh! Is that where you failed last time? Nope, I got further than this. Okay, I might get a new PB, actually. Is this where you failed? Nope, it's in here. I GBJ'd myself oh. on accident in here. Oh... I think it'd be wise if I um if I empty my tank, so be right back a second. Yeah. I have great news! What? It was clear! <laughs> you sound so proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I got that joke from. <laughs> Why do Good I news. that sounds like the pesta? I think it was the pesta. <laughs> It was this jump right here. Uh, and there we go. You have a new PB. Yep. Now let's hope it doesn't take me 40 minutes to pass this floor now. Because um, it's netted, but a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, because it's like that floor 3 recovery section. Yeah. And the kill bricks are, I'm pretty sure, even more potent on this floor. But yeah, I freaking hate this. Th this part right here is the worst. 
If there's only three, there's only one, two, there's four jumps, and all four of them are hard as hell. Oh god. That is scary. The recovery sections are scary. Yeah, and that's the other issue. If you screw up, you're very likely to get soft locked. I know. Alright, here's the first bad one. One. Two. Jesus Christ. Got it! Nice! Jesus Th there's Christ. There's you son of a bitch, you tried. You tried. You son of a bitch, you tried. That was fucking terrifying. You, that was, your health went down so fast. I don't like this tunnel anymore. I, I, go kill yourself. Okay, so the good news is, is that it's pretty likely I could get to nine. The bad news is it may take me an hour. <laughs> the good news is I could probably get to nine. The bad news is I could probably get to nine. There's only two jumps that are over that aren't over. Um, sorry. There's two jumps that are GBJs at the very end of the floor. This floor? Yes. Oh god. I'm not too worried about them because they're not that bad. But there's still jumps over GBJs for crying out loud. Yeah. And Ooh. that's what's gonna worry me the most, is dealing with this half stud ladder. There goes my ult. Alright, this is the scary part. Your ult? Yeah, the Bordeaux person is so I can rejoin the server. Oh, here, wait. I, I'm coming. Please land it. Nice! In case you need to rejoin, I will be here. This runs over. Wait. Yeah, this runs over. I died. That jump is unsafe. At least I got in. It just... Ah, uh, damn it! Yeah, I don't think I could have done anything about that. That sucks. Ooh. Christ. Yeah, the odds of me fixing that were so low. I see. Yeah, I, I'm i not surprised. Unfortunately, it wasn't really my fault either, which sucks, because I just got no momentum off of it. That's sad. I, I, to show you how close I was, that would have been, that's it right there. Oh my god. I basically got to mine. Dude. Oh well. That fail, honestly, it hurt. I was so close to floor 9, and considering how floor 8 isn't meant to be really punishing, I was getting insanely frustrated. Needless to say, that fail was a massive motivation tank, so I stopped playing for the rest of the day and came back to the tower tomorrow. The worst part about TOJ is because of how hard floor 10 is, you genuinely cannot get- you don't ever get to a point in this tower and think, I can beat this. That's the worst part about it. What, is there, like, no break for it all? No, I just mean, like, um... Like, competency-wise on the whole grind itself, because of how hard 10 is. Oh... Uh... Like, if you get to 10 on Toad Eye, you know, okay, I can do this. I wonder how surprised Kronku would be to see that I beat this. I ain't saying anything to him until you beat it. Oops, I, I rejoined, but the elevator didn't reset. What the f 
That's a new one! I mean, getting the floor eight in a kata twice on, like, day two or whatever our grind is from the start is pretty damn good. Yeah. This elevator is not resetting! That's weird. Oh. Okay, come in here. This it, the elevator is no longer drunk. Oh, the audio's back. Rip. I love when that happens. This happened to me a couple of times, and when it does happen, it is unrecoverable. No. You heard me well, press the space bar. Just... You heard well, me that's... press the space bar, right? Uh, maybe. I don't actually know. The punishment could be very horrifying any second. What? 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 You know what you did. What? I do not know what I did. Then you either accidentally made a pun, or you know what you did, and you're just trying to be smug about it. What? Are you okay? <laughs> Shortly after this run, I decided to go ahead and find new strategies for the higher floors. Because in TOJ, when you're struggling on a jump, you just find a new strategy that works even better, instead of using the same one and doing the same jump 300 times like every other catastrophic tower. The good news was, it worked out insanely well. I did floor eight to the wind pad of the tower using only two lives, which meant considering my floor eight personal best run used only one life, I have now beaten the tower in two runs. So, with my newfound confidence, I came back and decided to see what would happen. And only work on it because you feel like it. That was very close. Cool, I got the six. <clears throat> Let's see how long this run goes on for. Oh? Potentially have a really good run here. The problem is, I really need to piss. Alright, new strategy, don't let me down. Thank you. That was close. Well, seven. All right, I'm gonna take a piss. All right, I'm over the unsafe part now, by the way. Oh! That's annoying. Please do not walk off. Because that is a massive problem. Don't walk off. Thank you! Are you kidding me? Ugh. And I walked off. Son of a bitch! What the hell was that run, dude? That run was a complete waste! <sighs> okay, buddy. I don't think you should do that again. Do not do that again.
I do not like that very much. Well, gosh diddly darn, I'm on seven again. So, you wanna know something really funny, by the way, Sai? You see the rope platform to, uh, up to the side of me? It is so conveniently placed to where that thing can spin if you keep doing it so many times. And uh, you can get launched down to six if you're not careful, which is really hilarious. <laughs> that is 100% on purpose, and I think it's really funny. <laughs> That has only is happening on legit runs. Why? Thankfully, it has terrifying, but I still don't like that. Cannot believe I have not passed that in a legit run of the like seriously. Like, yes, that part of 7 is the reason why it sucks, but damn, I'm usually not this bad. Freaking finally. I am practicing 7 after this run. Alright, please pass this jump. Got it, nice. Alright. <clears throat> if I fall here, I'm back to six. I might have just gotten myself a ticket to floor eight. All right, cool. Final jump. Know the chances of me getting for getting to nine are so low, but I hope it happens. <laughs> the chances are so low. How has my streak continued? Passing that? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm not nervous, I'm shaky. Well, that makes no sense, but my heart rate's not high. That's usually why I have to stop all the time, is because I'm always so shaky. Okay. Let's hope this doesn't take me 30 minutes to pass. Because it freaking can. <laughs> Like that. Also, this sucks. I've never had this land here. Oh, that is not good. I am less prepared now when I fall. That's not good. It's 
so I need to train my muscle memory right now to go to the left when I fail that jump. Okay. Why now does it go ahead and spawn there? That is so unfortunate. Like to recover from in this one. Uh, are you f kidding me? I'm pretty sure I'm soft one. Are you f serious? I somehow hit it. And lost all my jump power. Bruh! Man, this floor hates me. I am so unlucky with this floor. I'm literally passing the hard part, and then all three of my fails I've had on eight are really unfortunate. There's no way this is gonna happen, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So, let me explain something. Even though I have no jump power, and I'm technically softlocked here, there is a way you can save yourself here. There is a barrel on the ground near the gameplay where I fell. In this barrel, you can stand on to gain your jump power back if you get on top of it, even if you lost it all. This barrel, though, only appears when you get to that gameplay section, which is why I couldn't save myself the one time. So, pretty much, getting onto this barrel at this point was my only shot at saving this run. OF COURSE IT DRIFTS ACROSS THE ROOM! OF COURSE IT DOES! Unfortunately, that didn't work. Considering how Flory, as I've said, isn't supposed to be insanely punishing, it's not even as hard comparing it to the other second half floors, I was insanely frustrated and really demotivated at this point. So I took a break on the tower. For nine days. I stopped playing this tower until the 20th of July. Yeah, I'm serious. Part of it was Flory, but the other part was that I was only doing TOJ since I started touching it and I really needed a break. But, with the magic of YouTube, editing 9 days have skipped and oh my god, it's July 20th now. <laughs> How did that save work? That was one of those instances where my reaction time reacted before I even realized what the hell happened. Alright, it's a 7 run. <laughs> that sh shouldn't be, but I ain't complaining. Alright, is my new strategy gonna w No. I up. God damn it. Well, that sucks. No wonder why I'm like hot as hell in here. It is 82 in my room right now. Uh. That's like almost 28 Celsius. Why? That's the first time that has failed me. Are you kidding me? Welcome to the insane difficulty floor. And it's also the hardest one apparently today. Are you kidding me? So that's two runs to seven that I just got completely cupped over. Are you kidding me, dude? So I'm wasting runs apparently today. I still think it's really funny how TOBT's final jump is harder than TOCR's final jump. Hmm. Oh, gosh damn it. Nope. What? That part's netted! I've never had that happen to me before. Are you kidding me, dude? That's actually ass. <laughs> oh, that sucked. I failed that jump. God damn it. 
I didn't even know that could happen. I didn't know you could get spit out back down the box. If you fail that last section of seven, that's where it sends you. I guess that's nice, but then you have to do it again. Yeah, in my opinion, it is worse. I'd rather have the recovery, Avi, than having to do six again. No, that's fair. It's six. Because six, if you think about it, is basically the recovery, Avi, but ten times longer. Yeah. It has a lot of balls. It quite- and it also sucks balls. I'm like really- Ah, oh, This jump. Good luck. Yeah! Did you see why I was like, oh sh when I got to that jump? Yikes, dude! <laughs> No, I know the dance is the time of two. There we go. There we go. Time for a break. Time to exercise your muscles, Logan. But the thing is, I'm weak. Don't get GB Jade. <laughs> you can get GB Jade there. So. Oh, see? lovely. Oh, no! Well, this Is runs over. Heard? This runs <laughs> over. It was a good run. At least he made it to eight. I kind of find it funny that her is too big Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. We take those. We take those dubs. Yeah, I mean, it's unlikely that this is going to end well, but... <laughs> I mean, floor 8 and only using my first life now is pretty good. Oh, come hey. on! Oh, suck my dick! <laughs> suck my f are you actually kidding me? One second. Bruh! <laughs> Come on! I genuinely am gonna be sad now if I don't get to the net. <laughs> I'm genuinely gonna be sad. Okay, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> no more funny business recovery section. <clears throat> Wait, why is this called the recovery section? Um, because you can get GBJ. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the slow section. Yeah. Oh, no. I got a lot. Okay, it was right here. The good news is, I have new strategies here, Sai. <laughs> so, it genuinely might take me a while to pass it. See, this is the barrel that I tried to save myself on. Bruh! Bruh! Are you kidding me? <sighs> ah! Unfortunately, while Briggs can solve some things, some things, like my <laughs> luck with Floor 8, don't really exactly change.
Let me try this. That caught me off guard and I almost fell in. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Thank God I have good reaction time. <laughs> Okay. We're passing this stupid recovery section this time. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <sighs> Come on. I'm genuinely gonna be nervous here now because of how it's been. At least I know I can save myself on the barrel if I'm good enough. Okay. Okay, good. Woo! It wasn't doing what it was doing earlier. Thank the Lord. Tronku definitely knew what he was doing with his design. Come on! Enough of you! Let's go! Finally back here! Ugh! So I'm going to be very slow. Okay, if I screw this jump up, you just go right and out. Nice. Okay, this is my PB jump. Come on. Yes! Finally! Yes! Ah! About damn time! <laughs> Freaking finally! That this is nine. Floor 9. The floor that everybody complains about, but in reality isn't actually that hard at all. This is another cold floor, similar to floor 8, but it's not nearly as friendly. Most of this floor, when you fall, you're going down into the recovery obbies. The gameplay here is similar to what you'd find on floor 5, and there are some difficult jumps, but nothing really to write home about. What's notable though is that the last section of this floor is entirely netted, meaning that if you do get there, you basically get a free ride to floor 10. For many others though, excluding me, they do find this floor insanely difficult. I don't know if I'm just weird, but I don't think this floor is that bad. You try and tell me how it really is, I don't know. <sighs> I'm not passing this, unfortunately, but... Freaking thank god, I'm freaking can be happy now. Alright, well, this ain't gonna last long, but I don't care. then we got something funny going on. And this is where all the hard jumps are, is this room. So, yeah. 
Passing this is kind of a dream. Don't bounce me off, please. Oh, that's never happened! Are you kidding me? Of course that breaks in practice. Son of a Alright, let me calm down. No! Oh, damn. Alright. Okay. Bit of a sh way to lose that run, but oh well. <laughs> that was a really sad way to lose it. Something that worked completely in practice, but not legit. But I'm not complaining. Well, pretty much after this, I got busy for the next few days, and when I did return to the tower, I only played it a little bit. So the next few days, I really didn't get much done, and the days I played, it was just a run or two. But however, something really unexpected happened. I actually made it to floor 10 on one of those runs. Welcome to floor 10, the hardest floor in this tower. As I talked about in part 1, this floor is absolutely brutal. Many people have made it here, but many people quit playing this tower simply because of this floor. This tower was heavily on the grind by another mobile player who really wanted to verify this tower. But because of simply how hard this floor is, they just eventually gave up. For their sake, I'm glad Randy got to finish this on mobile, but off topic. I swear this is some of the hardest gameplay in any catastrophic tower. I don't really know what to say. It's insane. The jumps here are absolutely insanely precise and take a long time to get down. So without further ado, let's see how my first floor 10 run goes. Oh. Oh. Uh, is this a black screen for you guys? Yeah, that's because it is, because this idiot didn't have their Roblox screen capture on. Oops! The good news is I actually clipped the fail, and I can actually show you what actually happened here. I failed the second jump, which has a very difficult and precise angle to land. And since failing floor 10 sends you to the recovery obbies, I got the horrific obby and failed the hardest jump, of course. Oh well, I didn't get that far at all on floor 10 this run, but that's expected. I plan on literally taking over 6 runs on 10 alone to beat this tower, so getting nowhere on the first run means absolutely nothing. But anyways, that's the first time you'll see Floor 10. I guarantee you that you'll see it a sh ton of times before I beat this tower, out of the millions of times I'll need to fail it in order to beat it. I am serious about this floor being that hard. Hi. Hey. Hi. You, you should have seen the glorious thing that happened to me. What happened to you? So, on floor four, there's this platform, and there's, like, four, like, walls that move around. Mm-hmm. It is really rare for you to get in, in a, a cycle where you're just basically screwed. Yeah. And, and it, happened it happened three happened. times in a row. Three times in a row? Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I was so pissed. Dude, you know what I've been doing lately? I I have been fucking. I I, I have. <laughs> what? That happened again. That happened earlier too. Right what? afterward too. Oh my god. Okay. Have you been up all night? No. I have. <laughs> what? Go to bed. No, I. Here's the thing. If I go to bed now, I'm gonna wake up at like three or four, and I don't want that because I'm gonna be up until like, you know, like five a.m. Okay, um, and I do that all the time. Okay, well the thing is, I, I'm basically what I'm currently trying to you're do is like, like f is what you're saying. No, I'm trying to f over my sleep schedule so hard is that that I f it, it like reverses itself into being normal. But yes, I'm also a. <laughs> I I I'm, I'm still like annoyed about your take on rap music. Like, bro. You cannot- okay, there is some kind of rap music you would like. <laughs> do, do you know how much rap music there is, and how many different genres there are? 
Um, more than zero, which it should be zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I hated Wrath when I was, like, younger, and now I... Now I'm a connoisseur. I am 19. Yeah, I know, but, um... <laughs> never mind, I was gonna say something out of pocket. I was gonna say you certainly don't act like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you act like it. While having to also be skilled. Because the jumps are kind of difficult. Okay. Here we go. Nice! Back at nine! That was way too low? That was dumb? Not the smartest thing I've done. Whoa, that was close! Damn, that was so close. The fact that I am alive right now. Oh my lord. That's a first. I've never had that happen to me before. What the hell is going on? That hurt? Just straight up that hurt. Oh, that really stung. I feel like I just got slapped in the face. God damn it, dude. And of course I walk off. Wow, I got absolutely slapped. This is here, I'm aware of this, but it is so janky to get into this thing, as you can see, which is why I don't do it. I've never had that happen to me before. Bro, I got so scammed off a 10 run there. Mother f I guess I'll play a little more, but damn dude, that stung. See, the reason why I'm not so phased out is because of the way this tower's balancing is. Like, I know I can get back there, and it won't be that horrible of a way back. So I'm not, like, worried. Like, if I was, say, you know, if this was TOGF, then that would be a little bit of a different story. But this tower is just consistent enough. And it's balanced in a way to where I'm like, eh, I can get back there. 
Like, sure, it definitely likely won't be today, but I know it won't be forever until I'm back up there. So I'm not... It doesn't sting too hard. I'm just lost. I'm so lost. That was perfect. Why did that not land? Ah, uh, here we go with Luke failing the same that same jump like ten times until I pass it and do something dumb on three. Really? Just... Wow. How many times in a row has that been? Well, I did get to one run before. Never mind. I am doing that a lot. Like, I'm just getting these odd ways of failing three and just losing it. Ah. Uh, what the hell? What the f <laughs> What? Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Well, freaking damn! Boing! <gasps> How did I jump so high? What? Obviously, I'm not complaining, but what the hell? Don't do it. Alright, here we go again. Okay, cool! Wow! Today went from really garbage to really good very quickly. Wow. And I first tried a completely. What? Oh my god. Hell, I cannot complain if this run does not make it to 10. <laughs> this is like a bonus run. I'm on 9 with all my lives. I just realized that. I have all four of the lives. That part's always very nerve-wracking. Alright, I need to calm down there. <sighs> that flick down is freaking evil! <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, let's hope we don't get unfortunate luck. <laughs> God, the way I lost that last run here hurt. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Oh god. This run is going to 10! Yes! <laughs> Yay! We're getting back to 10 with all of our lives! Dude! Holy sh! If I am. If, if I keep my composure. And I do decent at the recovery obvious. This could be it. This genuinely could be the last time. And that today, it, this tower is done. But it is so unlikely. I know full well the chances of that are damn near zero. I'm gonna fall and get unreal instantly. Or freaking nil shows up. Well, here we go. We're back. Damn it. Terrifying, okay. Play nice. Please play nice. Nice! Okay! <sighs> that is now twice! In legit runs, I have filled that jump. That is not good. I missed that? Are you kidding me? I missed that? Bro. I saved it. Take that run. I made it to a new furthest point. <laughs> I'll take it. Don't really care. Nice. Nice. Come on, let's get to the hard jump. Here we are. Oh my god. This is not real, dude.
No f***ing way. I was not expected to get here today. <laughs> to my absolute surprise, on just my second run making it to floor 10, I actually passed the proper part of the floor. But it's not a catastrophic tower, I swear, without one of these. A final stretch. It's really short, only having a couple of jumps, but it's insanely hard. There's also a catch. If you fail here, you're immediately sent to the game over room. This is the same room you go to when you use all three of your lives on the recovery obby. The recovery obbies are not in play at all here. Meaning, there's only one way to recover, and that is using your bonus life. So, if you have your bonus life, you get one mistake, and your run is over. If you don't have your bonus life, if you fail it at all, your run is over. And these jumps, of course, are not simple at all. They're very difficult. No! Not like this, buddy. Not like this. What I just failed was the last jump, basically. If I got on top of that structure, the jump to the wind pad isn't hard at all. It's a freebie. I literally failed the last jump. The good news is, I did have my bonus life. Meaning, I had one more shot and one more chance only to try and beat this tower. But if I failed again though, this run would be game over. It's all down to this. I could have fluked it. Oh my god, why? I literally wasted my chance, dude. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I rolled snake eyes. It's game over. And this video is over an hour long again. God, I am good at that. Meaning, unfortunately, this tower is going to need something I rarely do. A part 3. The good news is, just like last time, part 3 is already edited. It's all ready to go, just like last time. In fact, part 3 was all done and edited the day after part 1 premiered, because I wanted to be sure you wouldn't be waiting for months. However, People need some time to watch these lengthy videos, so once again you'll have to wait two weeks. It will be coming out on March the 2nd. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope that despite this tower not being on everyone's radar, that this is still something intriguing and interesting to watch. Thank you as well to my members, who for some reason think watching me suffer by failing the final jump of a Bruto Tower, but that notorious Floor 10 is fun to watch. My name is Logan ISL, and I will see you all later. Bye bye.